Want to start this video off by telling you guys, I know everybody's looking for heat presses and they're sold out everywhere. Want to let you guys know that right now, while supplies last, the 16 by 20 and the 15 by 15 Johto presses are available on Heat Transfer Warehouse's website right now. They're always sold out. So if you're in the market for heat press and everywhere is sold out, check Heat Transfer Warehouse. Use my Heat Transfer Warehouse link in the description down below and grab those heat presses because they will sell out fast. Everything else on their website is sold out. Everything on Heat, Pre heat, Trans um, heat Press Nation's website is sold out. So grab your heat presses right now. Let's go. This is something that I've been meaning to do for a very, very long time. I promised myself that this year, this year right here that we're in, I'm gonna focus more on my website and focus on driving more traffic to my website so I can get sales, so that my website can be my primary source of income, and I haven't been doing that. I, ha I have a little bit, but I haven't been doing that that much but I need to focus more on that and I advise you guys to do the same thing, especially if you're trying to make a little bit of extra money, if you're trying to uh, you know, boost your sales and stuff like that. Focus on products, focus on bring, driving sales to your website and the only way to do that is to put some good products on your website, all right? So I'm gonna get into that and I'm gonna start doing that right now after the intro. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Just like that. Like, comment, subscribe. Just like that. Boom. Wait a minute. Just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. There are plenty, plenty new people that have subscribed to the channel, and I want to take a moment to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and you're viewing for the first time. Now, guys. One of the questions that I consistently get on here, on Instagram, on Facebook, on email is, I'm a young kid and I wanna get started with my own t-shirt brand, or I wanna get started making clothes, what should I do? What advice would you give me, all right? So I'm gonna show you guys, some of you guys already know this method, but I'm gonna show this video specifically for the newcomers that are interested in just getting into t-shirt game, what should you do? What method should you get? Should you use a silhouette cameo? Should you get um, a, a embroidery machine? A lot of people get embroidery machines. Should you get a, um, a, a, a printer and just print on paper and transfer? Should you get a, a sublimation? Should you get in a sublimation? When you're dealing with a silhouette cameo, you have to have some type of graphic design skills. And you're only, um, you can only make as much as your graphic designing skills will permit you to, right? So you have to have some type of um, know-how and you have to have navigate the software. But if you're dealing with sublimation, if you're dealing with sublimation, nowadays you have to have, you don't even have to have any skill to get involved with programs and websites like Vexels, all right? So what I would advise you guys to do if you're just getting started, and this is my honest opinion, is to get yourself a sublimation printer, SG500 or SG1000. I, I would highly recommend the SG1000 over the SG500 because it gives you a larger printing capability, right? And then subscribe to Vexels. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. A few months ago, we partnered up with a company called Vexels, right? They had sent me a few emails and I get a lot of emails with offers and stuff like that, but I'm very, very picky in particular these days about who I partner up with, but I took a look at it and I thought it was a great service and um, I've made several videos about it, but I want to emphasize it and I've been meaning to implement it in my business to not only tell you guys about it, but show you how easy it is to implement this in your business and how I'm gonna implement it in mine. And you know, we'll see what the results are, okay? So, vexels.com. Use my Vexels affiliate link down in the description below if you'd like to sign up or if you'd like to see what they're all about. Vexels affiliate link in the um, comments down below. Also, use my Heat Transfer Warehouse link to get your Sawgrass SG500 or SG1000 down in the description below. Let's take a look at Vexels, right? So Vexels has all these designs available. All these designs available. Um, you can, once you pick your membership, monthly fee, you can select any of these designs. So many different designs to choose from. Just pages and pages of different types of files. 
You got um, logos, you got SVGs, PNGs, PSDs, which you can e um, edit. You got vectors. You got all types of different designs for different holidays, back to school, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Bar Mitzvah. You know, whether you, you know, like certain sayings, you like to work out, you got workout shirts, you got number one dad, number one mom shirts, you got time of the year shirts, you got everything on Vexels. So basically find something that you like, find something that you want to put in your store, download it, right? Put it into Print Manager, which is Sawgrass's software, right? And print it out and press it onto a shirt. It's that simple, all right? Take a picture of the shirt, put it on your website. That simple, guys. All right, so let's demonstrate it. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do after you downloaded your image from Vexels is you want to, matter of fact, you wanna launch Print Manager. You wanna make sure you have Print Manager launched and in the background because that is what uh, Sawgrass, the Sawgrass, how do I explain this? <laughs> Print Manager is what sends the design to the printer to be printed, all right? So it has to launch in the background, and sometimes it takes a little while to launch. So make sure it's running in the background before you know that you're going to print something. I have my Print Manager running right now. All right, so then you go to sawgrassinc.com, log into the website, and go to your Creative Studio. All right, go to your Creative Studio. Once you have that, once you have your Creative Studio launched, that's when you know that it's time to import your image, all right? So to import your image, go to your downloads folder, all right? Once you've, once you've um, downloaded your image, go to your downloads folder, and Vexels give you, gives you a zip file. You open that up, and then you open up that folder, and then you have several different files. Let me, let's look at them. This one is a Dodgecoin. It says Dodgecoin holder, all right? You got a PNG. You got a PDF, and you got a JPEG, and you even have an Adobe Illustrator file that I think, yeah, it's an Illustrator file, so you can edit that in Adobe Illustrator if you want to and make it your own. All right, so for the sake of this, we're going to use the Dogecoin PNG. All right, so we know that that's in our downloads folder. Keep track of where it's at. It's in our downloads folder and in the Dogecoin folder. And guys, if you haven't invested in Dogecoin yet, grab yourself some Dogecoin. I invested in Dogecoin two days ago, and um, yeah, it's making some serious money, and I think it's going to go up. So yeah, sidebar. And I invested using Robinhood, right? I should put a Robinhood link. Robinhood link in, in the description below, right? Why not? So, okay. So now we're going to go to galleries, and then we're going to go to images, and then we're going to go to add image right here. All right, so just follow along. Then you go to upload. Then you navigate to your downloads folder, right? Found, find the Dogecoin thing, the Dogecoin folder. Grab the one that you want, right? Open it up. It's right there. And then you go save. This is exactly the steps that you're going to take when you get yours. This is exactly how easy it is. All right, so it's saved, right? It should appear down here. There it is right here. So now you go to start creating. Start creating, go to a blank canvas right here, and matter of fact, I should go to my favorites. Where's my favorite? Blank products. Do I have a favorites? Favorites, all right. Go to legal size, all right. And let me go to this legal size. That. All right, so then I'm going to import an image. I'm going to go to my galleries right here. This is how easy it is. Images, click once on the image. There it is right there, right? There it is right there. All right, you can size it. You can do different things to it right while it's right here on the screen. Of course, you make sure you keep it inside of the border right here. Haven't done a sublimation video in a while, guys. So in sublimation, I'm telling you guys, it's highly addictive. All right, so you can do something like that. And then you can even like, duplicate this stuff. So you go right here, you got that highlighter, you can duplicate it, all right? And then you can make a smaller one, make a smaller one, and like to put on a sleeve or something like that if you wanna, you know, do something different, all right? Smaller one, all right? I didn't even measure this out, so I don't know like what size it's gonna be or anything, all right? But I'm gonna, you know, wing it. I'm gonna make one like this, and then I'm gonna duplicate this, 
and then I'm gonna make one over here and I'll make that even smaller. All right, you'll see what I'm doing with this. You'll see where I'm going with this, all right? Okay, boom, make that even smaller right there. I'm gonna put that right here. All right, so we got one big one to go on the front. I'm gonna put this one right here on the sleeve. And I'm gonna put this one right here in the back of the shirt. We're sublimating like crazy, right? So now we got this all set up the way we want it, right? We're gonna go print, press print. This is exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna select the printer that's online, right? That's the uh, Sawgrass SG500, that's my sublimation printer. Then you're going to select the type of paper that you're using, which if you use my heat transport house link, then you, you follow these instructions to the T and you're gonna get the same exact results. What I've found though, is people that get their uh, sublimation printers from different places, and I'm not just saying this, they, uh, the different places sell different inks, so you might not get the same results, all right? So if you buy your sublimation printer from a different place, um, I see a lot of people, you guys can go in my comment section of the other videos and say, Alan, my, my printer um, isn't printing out like yours. I'm not getting the same results. What can I do to fix it? And the first question I, I ask them now that I'm aware of it is, where did you get your sublimation printer from? If they say somewhere else, um, you know, I've, it's been brought to my attention that they have different inks. Different manufacturers sell different inks. Well, different companies that sell. Just to cost effectiveness, so if you find a small difference in the price, then just know that your ink might not be as good and these results only come with, you know, where I got mine from. All right, so here we go. We got legal size paper, that's fine. We're gonna be sublimated on a polyester and the paper that we're using is Text Print R, right? And Vivid, everything else is fine, guys. Everything else is fine. We're just gonna press send. This might be too small, but it's okay. We're gonna press send, I mean print. And then you wanna wait for the confirmation you want to make for the confirmation to come up on your screen. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, successfully queued. After you get a successfully, successfully queued message, you just click on Print Manager one time to bring it to the front, the front most program so that when Print Manager pops up, you'll see it on the screen and then you can send to the printer from that, right, from, from Print Manager. All right, so we're waiting for a little while to get Print Manager to pop up. And the reason why it takes a little bit of time, guys, is because the software, look, it just popped up. The software lives online, all right? And a lot of people print from different softwares like Adobe Illustrator. Some people even print from, print from Silhouette Studio. Some people print from um, Adobe Photoshop. But I have not yet figured out those settings. Please, please, if you're somebody that has those settings down packed for Photoshop specifically, please send them to me, leave them in the comments down below, or send them to me at awproductions at gmail.com. I know they have them, they exist on the Sawgrass website, but I haven't gotten around to looking for them yet because I'm doing so many different things, guys. Look, look at this embroidery hat that I made, Dub Nation. Going on a website, alanaway.com soon, so if you're Dub Nation big, then cop up, all right, get one of these. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so boom, we got polyester, text print R, high quality, all right. Um, tray one, everything is good to go. All right, only thing we gotta do now is press print. You can, but let me show you guys some other options. Layout, all right, legal size paper, eight and a half by 14, that's exactly what we're doing. Jobs, like how many you want. Okay, so I'm gonna print out two of these, right? And then, that's, that's pretty much it. Color, I'm not gonna mess with any of that. You know what I mean? And that's basically it. I'm gonna press print, and it's gonna print out in our sublimation printer. Boom. All right, let's check it out. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. See our SG500 working. Printing out our design right here. So let's check this out. Let's see how the colors come out. I want you guys to get familiar with this, uh, the colors and how they are supposed to look when they come out of your SG500. Because notice, you're gonna notice that the colors are not as vibrant as, you would, as they uh, would appear, but after we sublimate them onto the shirt, you're gonna see how the colors pop, all right? So just bear that in mind. All right. After this one prints out, we'll go ahead and take a look at it, and we'll show you guys the next step. You also need a heat press for this. I didn't tell you guys you need a heat press for this. So, boom. Here is our printout. 
we'll take a look at this while the other one um, prints out. All right, look at this thing. All right, and I am, yes, in fact, I am a Dogecoin holder. I do support this cryptocurrency stuff. It is awesome. Adub Productions. So this is the heat press we're gonna be using today. This is the Heat Press Nation Signature Series with the slide out drawer auto open. Love this heat press. Um, it's always sold out. You guys can use my Heat Press Nation link down below if you wanna inquire and see if this uh, heat press is available. Highly doubt it. If you get it, you're very, very lucky. But, but a heat press that I want that is comparable to this heat press um, is the Heat Transfer Warehouse. I'm gonna show you guys a heat press. I don't know exactly. I think it's the Heat Transfer Warehouse. Um, no, it's a, it's Heat Transfer Warehouse's flagship heat press. It's a 16 by 16 and it's equivalent to this. Has um, everything this has auto open except for the short press, but it has everything else that this has. And um, it's, a, it's a heat press that I would love to have in the near future guys. So we're working on that. So let's keep our fingers crossed. But I have so many heat presses that uh, you know, we don't wanna we don't wanna overkill even though we're already overkill with heat presses. I'm just plugging this baby in right now. All right, so boom, just turned on. Just a power switch right here. So I'm just gonna hit this button right here and then hit okay. Wait a minute, gotta have it up. All right, reset, okay, okay. Then um, when sublimating, you wanna hit it for, you wanna have it on 400 degrees and you wanna hit it for Assign it for 65 seconds, that's good. Some, some say 60 seconds, I normally go 70 seconds because I find that it transfers, the color transfers better with a little bit more seconds. I'm gonna put mine on 67, hit okay, and we're gonna let this thing heat up. And while this heats up, we're gonna go ahead and get our, um, our images ready. All right, let's go over and get our images ready. Adub Productions. We're back at our workstation. We're gonna make this real simple. Show you exactly what you need to do. The only thing you need to do is separate these three images from the paper, make them individual, use my X-Acto, boom, boom. That's it, that simple, right? I got a cutting pad right here, product links down below. Um, matter of fact, my Amazon link down below, just look for a cutting pad on Amazon. Self-healing cutting mat on Amazon, that way you don't scratch up your brand new height adjustable table. Wow, how awesome is that, guys? How awesome is that? Yeah, you don't want to mess that up. Wait, I want to go up. <sighs> anyway, guys, so um, next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a some Teflon sheets, right? Some Teflon sheets. I think I put that up too high. Some Teflon sheets, okay? So not these, these aren't Teflon sheets, as a matter of fact. This is butcher paper. I'm rushing trying to get through this, guys. Sorry about the rushing part. I'm trying to remember. It's hard sometimes trying to remember what you're doing. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna cut them the size of this right here, all right? Because that's what you need them for. So you need two pieces for each image that you are um, sublimating, all right? And the reason why you need them is because you have to place this one behind the shirt and one on top of the actual transfer, and I'll show you that, I'll demonstrate that in a little while. Because sublimation is a process that turns the ink into gases and it fuses the image into the fibers of the shirt. That's the best way that I can explain it. But one thing about sublimation, guys, is that you gotta, I'm, let me warn you now, it's very, very addictive, and when you do it once, it's very, very magical. And it's like, once you do it once, you're always gonna wanna, you're gonna, you're gonna go on a sublimating spree. You're gonna wanna sublimate everything because it's fun, it's addictive, and it's magical. No other way I can, I can put it, right? So, okay, I got my four pieces, right? So let me try to demonstrate this before I go over to the heat press and show you exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so got my T-shirt right here, right? So. If you just press it, sublimate it like this, right? With this on top, what's gonna happen is this image is going to go sublimate onto here, then it's gonna sublimate through that and onto here and possibly on the bottom of your platen. So what you wanna do is you wanna put a piece of paper inside the shirt to protect the back of the shirt, right? So it doesn't sublimate all the way to the other side of the shirt. 
And that's what you got to do, man, because this stuff, this process is powerful. You'll see what I'm saying in a little while, right? Matter of fact, I should do one to show you guys, but I'm not going to mess up a perfectly good shirt, 100% polyester shirt. Boom. Then you put this on top of that, and then you put this on top of that, and then you press it. And that's how you sublimate, all right? That's how you sublimate. So um, after the heat press heats up, we're going to go over and we're going to start the magic, guys, right after this message. Hey Dub Nation, it's your girl Kaveen Jador and you are tuning in to A Dub Productions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right guys, you ready for this demonstration? I don't know if you're ready for this. All right, so we're gonna put our shirt onto the platen here. Put our shirt onto the platen. Awesome. And we're gonna be doing a bunch of these demonstrations with different designs from Vexels, guys because I want to show you guys that I don't, I don't just talk about stuff, right? I practice what I preach. Like these strategies that I'm giving you guys are things that I think would work for your business. So I'm not only teaching them, I'm actually doing them. And this is something that I wanted to do um, when I got introduced to Vexels. And this is something that I'm passing off to you guys, all right? Because uh, it's a legit way to start your business easily, all right? So this design is gonna go on my website, alanaywade.com. So if you're not interested in anything else but purchasing this shirt, visit alanaywade.com and purchase this shirt today. All right, so I got that layer down. And now we gotta eyeball it and place this design on here, four fingers down from the neck. All right, this is the hardest part about sublimation, I think, is because you have to place the design down onto the shirt and it's kind of hard to see through the design to make sure it's uh, in the right spot. Four fingers down, I can uh, kind of see through the shirt and see it's right there. All right, four fingers down from the neck and the center of my shirt should be right here. Again, I'm just lining things up and making sure that it's in the right position and that looks about right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my second sheet on top right here second sheet goes on top all right and now we can go ahead and press it for our 67 seconds that i have it set for all right and this press right here like i said is going to auto open so we're just going to uh, fast forward a little bit to the part where it auto opens a dub productions five four i'm just going to place my hand right here because i don't want it to pop open too much because i want the um paper to shift all right so I'm gonna let it up nice and slow. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove this. I'm going to press this button over here. Now we're going to remove our paper. And you see how magical that is? See our, <laughs> I mean, look. Look, look. look at that, guys. I mean, you see that? That is, that is, incredible the way it transferred onto the shirt we're going to examine it a little bit closer let's go over to the table and examine it a little bit closer but first we're going to put the one on the sleeve and on the back like we said we we're going to do let's go a dub production we have a sleeve and we have a back to work with to work on i should say so we're just going to take some butcher paper we're going to cut it just like that that easy cut another piece all right then cut this in half like that, and that should be all we need. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is a sleeve. Which side do we wanna attach this, uh, the small one on? I think I'm gonna put it on this sleeve, so I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up. Um, hmm, let's go, go ahead and put it on like that. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to be perfect, but put it on like that. All right, and of course, I should have put this on first. But I didn't, so put this inside like so. All right, put this on here. Now I'm using a cap press. This is a Heat Press Nation Signature Series cap press. This also has an auto open feature. If you're interested in this one, um, go ahead and use my Heat Press Nation link down below. This is also a dope heat press. It's good for uh, pressing sleeves and stuff like that. So same thing, take our Dogecoin, put it on here on the sleeve. All right, put the one other one on top like that. 
then we're just going to press it. Let me make sure it's uh, a good thing to do, guys, is to apply some heat tape on here, which I'm not going to do, but get yourself some heat tape and apply it on here and apply it on here so it stay in the same, stays in the same spot. All right, so now place this on here and I'm just going to press it. All right, and after 65 seconds, that is going to be sublimated onto that. And we'll take a look at it in just one moment. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, and pops open. Same deal. Oh, that popped open fast. All right, so remove that, then remove this. There it is right there on the sleeve. Looks good, looks professional, looks clean. All right, guys, here we go, here we go. Dogecoin holder. Highly support Dogecoin because it's made me some money so far. So uh, this is going to be on the website. So check this out if you want it. I'm also going to put the video on the website. So if you want to follow along the video, get yourself an SG500 um, or SG1000 and make this design along with your Vexels membership. You can do so with this follow along video, follow along with this. Or you can purchase the shirt if you just want the shirt. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. It helps support the channel out a whole lot, guys. Something I said I was going to do, especially with the service of Vexels, and here I am. This is my first step towards it. First step that's going on, first uh, shirt that's going on the website. Fun fact about sublimation, guys. This is the transfer that I use. I've went ahead and I've used transfers as much as three times on the same transfer. But what you will notice is every time you use a transfer, the image is going to come across come out lighter and lighter and lighter. So it can give you kind of a different effect if you want to, like a vintage type of faded type of effect. But I don't recommend doing it if you want great results like you see on here, because like I said, second time you use a transfer, it's gonna be lighter, third time, even lighter. But you can use them over again because as you can see, you can still see the image, which means there's still more ink in this paper that can be transferred. But typically, you just use it once and throw it away, guys. All right, so. Thank you for watching. Once again, let's recap real fast. To do this process, you only need a Sawgrass SG-1000 or Sawgrass SG-500, a heat press, and some butcher paper. That's pretty much it. You can use household scissors, right? And what else did I use that you guys don't have? Like a heat press and a sublimation printer. Pretty much all you need, all right? A lot of people in the comments might say, and a lot of people might say that sublimation ink is expensive. Expensive is relative, guys. If you, if you are running a business and you're just uh, making money and not putting any money away to invest back into your business, then you're not doing your business right. All right, so I say that to say, I did a video, you guys can check it out, on how many prints it takes for this specific heat transfer warehouse sublimation printer to empty and you're going to make your money back times probably 20 times 50 um, before this runs out of uh, ink and before you need to buy new sublimation ink. So when you compare it, how much money you're making versus how many prints you're going to get and how much money you're going to make if you sell these shirts, the ink is not expensive. People look at the ink as a whole by itself and say, oh, that ink is expensive and then they get cheaper ink and then their printers run out of ink fast or they don't get the same colors and same results. But you know what, to each their own, I don't think it's expensive compared to um, the money that you make uh, selling these shirts, you know? So the ink is like, what, $67 or $65 each or whatever. You only need to sell six or seven shirts to make that. On one full thing of ink, I probably printed, I still got two ink cartridges in there from the original, original uh, ink that I purchased, all right? and. You're probably gonna sell maybe like well over 100 shirts, I would say. Depending on how many colors and how big you know the designs are, I would I would honestly say, and you got well over 100 shirts, 100% because, watch my video, watch my video on how many prints I did. I think I printed out 80 that day. I think I printed out 80 prints and the printer still wasn't out of ink. So, I mean, you know, it's debatable. You guys can argue me down, but watch the video, you guys see the video already. And um, I had purchased well over that. I had, I had printed out well over that and used it beyond that video for months and months before I had to replace the black ink. And even when I did replace the black ink, I bought it, I got it in the mail. I didn't put it in the printer yet because it kept. I had the low warning light on, but I still kept on printing. I still kept on printing 
and then I finally replaced it. All right, so um, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it's your first time here, once again, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment sections down below, or you can head over to my Instagram, my Instagram, Adub Productions, and ask me a question below the picture of me holding my hat like this. Do not DM me any general questions because I won't answer. I save my DMs for business inquiries only. Um, so if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments of my pictures and I'll get to you and answer that question, all right? And that way everybody can see the answers to that question. That way, you know, if you want to answer that, if you want to ask that question, it'll be easier. If the question's already answered, the, the answer's right there and everybody else can, um, you know, benefit from the question that you answer, you asked, all right? So yeah, I hope you, this video helped. I hope you have an idea of how easy it is. You guys saw exactly what I did. I downloaded this image from Vexels, put it in my computer, sent it to the printer, printed it out, pressed it on the shirt, got a product. And look at the quality. Look at the quality. I forgot to show you guys the quality. We didn't get into the quality. Look, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the quality. Look at this. This is infused into the shirt. This is like infused into the shirt. It doesn't get better than that, guys. I mean, sublimation. Sublimation is the bomb, all right? This is better, in my opinion, than screen printing because it's embedded into the fabric. It's embedded, it's not going anywhere. I've had shirts that I've watched, washed over and over and over and over and over, and the sublimation design just will not leave the shirt, guys. So, um, I don't know. I think it's better than screen printing when it comes to certain colors because obviously sublimation has its limitations and limitations are you can't sublimate onto cotton. It has to be polyester and for the best results, it has to be a light color polyester. White, absolutely the best, 100% polyester. But um, you can do like light blues, like light yellows, light greens and stuff like that. But the colors are going to shift a little bit because the color of the shirt is going to have an impact on the uh, transfer and how and the colors that it, uh, the colors mix together. You know what I mean? So you're going to guys going to have to experiment with that. But in my opinion, plain white shirts, great way to start a business. Nice and easy. Don't have to be a graphic designer with Vexels. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby.